Okay guys, let's uh, unbox the sous vide, the power precision cooker. I've got uh, two steaks here. These equal, uh, I got these on sale at Kroger for $18. They were originally $42. They were on sale for $5.99 a pound. This is three pounds of steak right here. I'm gonna cook this for about an hour and 20 minutes. And I'm gonna put the temperature at about 130 degrees. You're gonna need a deep pot, a really deep pot like this. You have instructions on times on what and temperatures on what you should cook meat in here, in the book that comes with this. This is $49 at Walmart right now, and it is like phenomenal. It was $100 before, then they dropped it down to $79, and recently I seen it on sale for $49. This cooks meat like you've never had meat cooked before. When you take this out, this is your heating element inside here. This actually unsnaps and snaps back together when you lock this thing. Down here is your little fan and your pump or your little motor that turns and circulates the water. This right here is your digital timer and stuff in your heating gauge. If the bag gets sucked up here and starts to cut this off, the circulation off, you'll see a message on the top of this that says fault. F. So unroll this. When you set this down in the pot, you're going to see a gauge measurement on here. Minimum, maximum. I've already pre-filled this with a little water. I might, not, I might need more. So I'm right at my minimum spec inside the pot right now. All I'm doing is grabbing more water. I'm going to fill it up between the half and or the minimum and the max. I'll go one more. Okay, so I'm about halfway between the minimum and the max. And I'm gonna go ahead and start this timer now while I'm prepping the meat in the Ziploc baggies. Some people say not to use it because of BPA contaminants and stuff like that. I don't really follow all that stuff. It's never hurt me. I've been using plastic bags my whole life, but I know there is a chance. So use your best judgment and actually get some some uh, vacuum bags that you may that you may find that don't have the BPA additive to it. So when you do this, there's a little power button right here. Let me see if I can get closer. I'm going to turn it on, it's on, set it to 130 degrees, this little dial right here, 130 degrees, hour and 15 minutes, what I want to do is I want to hit this little sprocket thing over here on the side, this emblem, there's my hours, there's my minutes, I want one hour and 15 minutes at 130 degrees, go ahead and hit the power button, mm -hmm. It starts it. It tells me what my temperature is at right now. I'm going to go ahead and adjust my power cord for a second. Excuse me. It's 
It's telling me right now it's at 181 degrees and this timer will not start until it reaches operating temperature. So I know I have until that gets to 130 degrees to get this meat prepped and in here before it starts. So what I'll do is I'll get some baggies. I got two gallon size baggies. Let me back this off a little bit. I go ahead and open these. They're frozen right now, but this will cook frozen meat. You might have to add a little bit of time to it. I'm going to try it today without adding time. So, I got one ribeye in. Here's the trick that I came up with. Slide this out of the way for a second. Here's a trick that I came up with. I will take the straw and I'll put a straw inside the Ziploc baggie. And I'll slide it all the way over to one side. And then I'll go ahead and start the baggie sealing. And I'll seal it all the way over to the straw. I'll take that straw and stick it as far down in there as I possibly can. And then I will Take out almost all the air completely with that straw. I vacuum sealed it. Set number one down in the skillet or in the pan. Sorry. Now, frozen meat tends to float. If this wasn't frozen, it would sink down to the bottom better. Let's get our second baggie. Sealed it. I'm gonna stick my straw in there. Sorry about that, guys. People message me all day. Mm. Stick my straw down inside the bag. Seal all the way over to the straw. See how I got my straw right here? And now. Another vacuum sealed bag. I go ahead and set those two stakes down there. And if you can see here, with those two stakes in there, it's at the minimum mark or the maximum mark. Can't go any higher. That's why I made sure I had room for leeway. Now at this point, these stakes will sit in here. This is going to keep trying to get up to operating temperature. Remember, those stakes are frozen. It's going to take a while for it to get to oper operating temperature because those take stakes are cooling this water down as this is trying to heat it up. So, be patient. Walk away. It'll shut off on its own. You can get some more expensive ones that are Wi-Fi built in. I don't see the need for that. If you're cooking something, why not be in your kitchen anyway? Or, it's going to go ahead and it's going to do its thing and it's going to shut off. You can walk away. You can go to the grocery store. You can do whatever. It's in water. It's almost impossible to actually have anything bad happen here. Um, this is my startup and my prep. And this is just me showing you the little kitchen hack with the vacuum sealing the Ziploc bags. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you would like to see a review on any other product, an air fryer, an Instapot, whatever it is, please give me, a, give me the shout out and I'll go ahead and I'll get it and I'll do the review on it for you. And maybe some of these companies, if you guys see this... Um, this is a wonderful product by them, guys. I, you can't go wrong. Why pay $160 for an Anova or something like that? Because when you pay $160 for it, you do get all the extra perks. You do get all the extra electronic gadgets and features and stuff with it. But if you're somebody that just simply is on a budget, you want good quality cooked food that's not wasted, that's not destroyed, where all the nutrients are still there, 
$49 at Walmart. Even if you've got to pay the $55 for the same product on Amazon, it's well worth it. It's one-third of the cost of the other ones. Check it out, guys. I hope you enjoy. I'll see you on the other side. Keto One, Carnival One, remember this is your life. you got to live it. Peace.